Hey, Calvary by the Sea, Ohana, Calvary by the Sea, Familia, Calvary by the Sea, Spiritual Family. It is good to be back on the island. I am refreshed. I could take just some deep breaths and just be back home. It is, there is nothing, right? Like sleeping in your own bed. <laughs> so I am so glad uh, to be with you in this way. I simply wanted to uh, just tell you it was a good time. I, I was able to spend time with Brenda and Hansel. Hansel got to visit colleges. I got to be part of a terrific uh, global migration conference in Boston. Uh, shout out to Gordon Conwell Seminary uh, and all the ones that put together that conference. And it was beautiful to see the girls in New York City. We stopped by to see them and Penelope and Amelie are doing terrific, hard at work. And then I got to spend time with my family, with my mom and dad, my brother, my nephews, my nieces, my, my brothers-in-law, my sisters-in-law, and my parents-in-law. Just like, just beautiful, beautiful time that has reinvigorated uh, me, has given me new energy. And so I'm just, uh, I just come back with just uh, excited for what is to come for what we are about to do together as a community. So there's a few things I want to just quickly remind you about. This Sunday, October 20th, is Blessing of the Animals Sunday. And so if you have a pet, if you have a stuffed animal pet, you know, you can bring that. So parents, you can bring your kids with their stuffed animal pets and we'll be blessing all pets in the house. Uh, if you want to bring your dogs or cats or whatever other pet you may have, uh, please, uh, this is the Sunday to do so. It's one of the most beautiful Sundays of the year where we get to holistically be with many of our pets and uh, just excited to do it. We're doing it by the ocean side. So we'll be doing it in front of the beach and just blessing the animals on this Sunday. Don't miss. Plus, I'll be preaching, which let me tell you something. So this is our three weeks without preaching. So I am ready, shall we say, to preach uh, and to bring um, just uh, some some of God's love and liberation, some of God's hope uh, into the room. I mean, God's already there, but can I just be used to extend that love and grace? I pray I can and that I would. So please be in prayer with me for this Sunday as together we connect. I, I want to also give a quick shout out to two people who were terrific, um, both Minister Rhonda Littledell and Pastor, Reverend Dr. Pastor uh, Wally uh, Ryan Kuriowa. I just want to say thank you to both of you um, for your gifting, for your wisdom, for sharing yourselves with us in these last couple of weeks and just preaching for us. I I, I am so moved and thankful and blessed to say that you are part of our community. And so let me just say, we got a deep roster. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got a deep roster of amazing speakers and preachers and theologians in the room. And uh, I'm just excited. I'm just really thankful. Thank you for, for, for sharing with us these last couple of weeks. Uh, then I just want to say there's an online um, membership class coming. And that's going to happen next Thursday, October 24th, I believe. And it would be great to have you if you are new to the community, if you are, uh, you know, in, in considering membership. This will be our last kind of membership class of the year. Uh, so if you really have kind of made that decision or you just simply want to learn more about Calvary by the Sea, uh, please show up on that online Zoom uh, membership class that will be on Thursday, October 24th, I think at 6 30 p.m. There will be a link. If you're interested, you can certainly send us an email at info at calvarybythesea.org or you can, you know, sign up on Sunday at the, at the Welcome Center. Uh, and then October 27th is Reformation Sunday. Now, this is a Lutheran, I mean, it's an all church thing, but us Lutherans, we celebrate the reforming power, right? That is still alive. Can I get an amen? Right? To this day, still reforming. But yet, it's a special day that we will sing some of our Martin Luther uh, traditional hymns. So if you're ready to sing that, choir will be leading us in that. 
Uh, by the way, shout out to the choir. You guys are amazing, doing wonderful. Thank you for your ministry among us. To Chris Suzuki for his leadership and to the whole band too, you know, um, and to Faith Rivera and her leadership as well. We'll have a guest worship leader this Sunday, by the way. Before I forget, Dustin will be leading us in worship. So you want to be here for that as well. And then lastly, uh, one of the things that is so dear and, and, and special to our community, I believe, is to be mission driven, to be driven by our values, by the things we love and care about. And you know them, right? There's three of them. We are inclusive, we are intentional, and we are involved. And in the month of November, uh, Minister Grace and uh, Pastor uh, Reverend uh, Jane uh, uh, Ryan Kuroiwa will also be preaching with us. So another uh, another uh, pastor in the house will be preaching with us. Uh, and we'll be speaking about our mission and our values and the goals that we have for 2025 and how you can be a part of that. And we just uh, are excited about what's coming and excited to be part of that journey together. Well, friends, I'll leave it there. It is so good to be back. Uh, yeah, they, this 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 island is um, is beautiful. We know that, uh, but it also breathes life into me, and so I'm glad to be back in the house. Glad to be with you on Sunday, and excited for what God has in store for us in this upcoming season. So wherever you are. Where whatever you're doing, may you know that you are welcomed, that you are loved, that you are safe, and that God is happy with you. Hope to see you Sunday. Blessings. Much love. Much love. Take care. Bye-bye.